I remember track and field coach Neil Zanderson, coach, uh, the field got bigger last week at the UW Stout Invitational, and the performances that you guys put together were just as big. Uh, an outstanding weekend for you guys. I was extremely happy with a lot of things. You know, when you're this early in the season and the training load is where it's at, you don't know what to expect. And so you'll have some dead legs, but you'll also have some phenomenal performances. And I was really excited that we pulled out some first place and second place finishes. And uh, I mean, a lot of exciting performances to talk about. Talk a little bit about the learning curve, especially for a lot of your younger guys and, and, and ladies. Uh, you know, a lot of people are, are really kind of just getting into yeah. collegiate uh, um, track and field. How big a learning curve is it for them? I, I keep telling them the exact same thing. This is the most frustrated you'll ever be as an athlete when you're young, when you're a freshman and you're breaking down bad behaviors or things that you never quite picked up on in high school. And so, and then the load is that much higher. And so it's really, really difficult. And as long as they can persevere through that frustration, then uh, the big performances are forthcoming. But, you know, it's, it's making it through this very difficult time of the season and realizing this is the worst it's ever going to be. From this point forward, even as a sophomore, you'll understand the load. As a junior, it's, it's what you come to expect. And then all the technical parts of the event become just becoming really consistent. Right now, everything's inconsistent. The load's really heavy. The frustration's high. But in a really positive way, I think everybody understands at least where we're going with this. And you had this weekend, you had to River Falls. As you look at last weekend and the successes that you had, have you raised the bar a little bit as you head to River Falls and maybe the expectations are even greater than maybe you thought they'd be? Yeah, I mean, on some, some of the student athletes, it's going to be a bounce back week. And on some student athletes, we want to see if they can replicate what they did. So, uh, you know, it's those two things. It was really kind of an interesting week because we either had – you know, if you look at the results, we had some very good performances. But if you look at kind of a little bit at some of the other results, some people didn't meet their own expectations of what they could accomplish. And so for them, it's a confidence week to say, um, I want to get back to doing what I know I can do. And so, you know, consistency is really difficult at this time of the year. Um, that's something we want to definitely build, though. Is that the beauty of track and field is, is you had that competition, and like you say, for some people, it wasn't what they wanted. Well, you know what? You get another shot at it this week, exactly. and you get to go at it again. Well, you said it because unlike the, the ball sports where every meet or every game matters towards the conference total um, in track and field, it all comes down to one day. That's the beauty of our sport is – um, we still get to compete every weekend. It still matters. We still develop PRs. Um, all those kinds of things are still part of what we do. But the, um, the beauty is it all comes down to one or two days, and everything happens then, and that's how your conference championship is decided. And, I mean, that's, I think that's the beauty of our sport. And the preparation continues this weekend. You head to River Falls, Wisconsin for the uh, Falcon Open. Good luck this weekend. Thank you.